When choosing reference material when you're going to paint an eye such as the eye of a walleye, you want to make sure that just as in any other species of fish that you find a different range and a different value of reference pictures as far as coloration is concerned. The reason why you want to do that is each and every fish might be just slightly different. So when you're painting a fish for yourself, uh, perhaps, you can choose what coloration you want that most pleases you. But if you're using reference pictures from a client that they've provided to you, you want to make sure that you're as accurate as possible. When we paint this eye of a walleye today, we're going to use pretty much a bright, generic look for the eye so you can get the best range of technique that you can that you can also make adjustments to when you're painting different values of color to this eye. One of the things that you want to point out when you're looking at reference pictures to your clients is you want to explain to them that sometimes when they look at something like a walleye, what most of us remember as a signature to that fish is that clear or milky look to the eye. Um, in some cases, commercial eyes will actually paint them silver. But as you can see, unless light is creating a refraction property or refraction quality, you're not actually going to see that white look. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint the eye, including the pupil, and we're going to use this very special technique to create that translucent look that one, once light hits it, it's going to have the same property as a real walleye. This will give you the most realistic look that you can. Let's move on to our tools and our paints. We're going to cover some of the tools and some of the different mediums that we're going to be using. Of course, we need a good eye to start off with, and this is the Jeff Lumsden acrylic eye, which is called Still Life Eye, which is carried by Wasco Wildlife Artist Supply Company, and this is the eye that we're going to choose to use to make the eye of the walleye. This is just a, a glass bead that has somewhat of a, uh, a stained type of look to it. And I like this opposed to the clear eye because I can still add some pigmentation and color to the back of it. And I still get this nice clear translucent look. If you notice, if my hand's away from it, it's very clear. But once it goes back into the, to the cavity of, of the head of the fish, it'll darken up and especially when we put a little bit of color behind it there it's going to really create that nice look that a walleye has. A couple of the other tools that you're going to absolutely need to do this you're going to need a general all-purpose brush that has somewhat of a soft bristle this will allow you to put your pigmentation down and then I have a stiff brush here that we're going to use for a different technique on the eye. Um, the, the soft general purpose brush doesn't really apply this one technique so this is why I use a little cut down short version of a of a brush here. A few other things that you're going to need just you know just a little ballpoint pen will work and this is a prism color uh, premier metallic gold tipping pen and this is basically a fine gold pen we're going to be using that and last but not least as far as uh, drawing utensils or writing utensils as we have just a a general black sharpie marker. Now once once all that's covered we're going to need a few extra things. We're going to need some blue painters tape. We're going to need a pair of some decent tweezers. We're going to need a pair of scissors so we can cut out a shape. A couple traditional paints we're going to use. We're going to use an airbrush paint and this is candy rich brown. I like candy rich brown for the walleye eye because it allows me to really put in a translucent brown. We're going to use some of the gold leaf metallic powders that we like to use. This is number 26 which is called Antique Bronze. We're also going to use um, one of the colors called Statuary Bronze. And we're going to use number 19 which is called Fine Aluminum. We're also going to use two of the Pearl X colors and one Pearl X color we're going to use is called Gray Lavender. And the gold that we're going to use is called Aztec Gold. I have some Optivisors out here. Um, when you get a little older like myself, or you're challenged with your visions these days, they really help you to do a lot of tight close work. I have a little piece of foam here that what we're going to do is take a piece of tape. We're going to create a little caddy here that the eye can sit on itself. and we have a little bit of gloss so we can seal in our colors in between there. So with all of the 
products laid out here for what we're going to use to create the eye of a walleye, let's get painting with our fish eye. The first thing that we're going to do in painting the eye of a walleye is we first have to make the shape of the eye that we're going to use. I like to use this blue painter's tape to do that. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the eye right on the painter's tape and we're going to draw around the shape of the eye and then we're going to give it a little cross here. And then I'm going to show you in a close-up how to create the pupil that we're going to use for the eye. So let's move right in to take a look at that. We're going to take our pen and basically trace around our eye. Once we have the tracing around the eye, we can actually put in just a little crosshair right through the middle of it. And what this will do is this will help us create the pupil to the eye. Again, we're using our reference photo to create this pupil that we're going to be using for our eye. Once this is done, we can peel our tape back. We can rip off our tape here and carefully take some time here and cut out our pupil. Take your time. When you do this, just cut little angles at a time if that's what you need to do. That's generally the safer way to do it. Okay. Once your pupil has a basic shape to it, you can lay it out on your finger just to make sure that it has the look that you want to have. And if it doesn't, make the little adjustments right now to it. So right here, I would be satisfied with the look of this pupil. Now I'm going to remove and discard some of this extra tape here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a Sharpie marker and we're going to put a small crosshair through the center of the eye, okay, giving us an area that we can work with. We're going to turn our eye over and we'll take these tweezers and grab hold of the pupil and I'm going to lay this pupil right into the eye. And I'm just going to touch down these corners lightly. And that will give us at least the area that becomes protected, which will in turn become our pupil. 